Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Veronica Gant. If you are a newborn photographer looking to enhance your photos with unique and beautiful backdrops, you are in the right place. Today I am excited to show you how to use and edit my digital backdrops available in my Etsy shop VG Gallery of Art. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to transfer your photos into stunning works of art. So let's get started. In my Etsy shop, I've created a collection of digital backdrops with a personal touch designed with the delicate art of newborn photography in mind. Each backdrop is a special piece made to bring a unique warmth and style to your photos. Now I love to show you some of my favorites, crafted for photographers like you, who appreciate the beauty and softness in every shot. This digital backdrop you see here holds a special place in my collection. It's not just my favorite, it's also the best seller in my Etsy shop. I've handcrafted each felt layer with great care to ensure a serene and cozy setting, a signature look that's loved by my clients. Due to its popularity, I've decided to make it available for you on Etsy. It's more than just a backdrop, it's a piece of art ready to bring joy to your clients and elevate your newborn photography. Once you selected your favorite backdrop from my shop, downloading and importing is a super easy process. After purchasing, you will receive a download link. Simply download the file from my Dropbox and open it in Photoshop. Now let's dive into the editing process. I will take you through the steps of blending our digital backdrop with your original newborn photo to create a seamless and captivating result. We will adjust layers, play with opacity and fine tune the colors to ensure the backdrop complements your subject perfectly. In this tutorial, I will be using a digital backdrop that I recently created. This backdrop will also be available for purchase in my Etsy shop. For the demonstration, I've chosen a portrait of my daughter, Aliyah, to feature with the baby image. First, it's important to pay attention to the shadows in the image before placing the baby into the digital backdrop. In this case, the shadows in the baby's photo are on the left side and the shadows on the digital backdrop are on the right side. To match them, we will go to Image in the main menu and Image Rotation and select Flip Canvas Horizontally. Next, we will first select the baby's image with a marquee tool. By clicking and dragging, we move it into the digital backdrop. Adjust the face size to fit the backdrop's opening by clicking on the corners to resize. You have the freedom to reposition and scale the face to your preference. It's important to note that the shape might be quite off since every baby is different, as are the angles of the photos. Don't worry, we will address this at the end. So now I like the position of the face, so let's move on to the baby's skin color. Alia's color is quite fine and I don't need to adjust it, but if necessary, I would use selective color to make the desired changes, which is our image of the baby. It's crucial that the layer with color adjustments only affects the layer directly beneath it, which is our image of the baby. If you create the layer with color adjustments above all other layers, it could affect the entire backdrop as well as the baby. You can adjust individual color tones to your satisfaction. Now let's 
see these layers that I've created for this file. These are the shadows. You can also adjust their opacity to your liking. The next very important step involves the space under the chin. You will need to select the digital backdrop layer and then click on filter and liquify from the main menu. Make sure show backdrop is checked together with the layer, which is in this case, the baby's face with the mode set to behind. This will allow us to adjust the opening of the digital backdrop to better match the shape of the baby's cheeks and chin. Make sure that you zoom in to see the details more clearly. When you are done, click OK. Then final step is to finalize the image. What do we need to do? Press Command plus A and Shift plus Option plus Command plus E to create a new layer from all the layers below. Now we can perform final adjustments using the patch tool and Content Aware Fill. This tool is incredibly helpful for achieving great results and perfecting your image. Once you refine the face edges, remember to delete any layers you don't need anymore. This will help reduce the file size. Select the image and all the layers you work on and click Merge Layers to consolidate them. For any final tweaks, the Liquify tool is your go-to for precision editing. And there you have it, a beautiful, unique photo using my digital backdrops. I hope this tutorial inspires you to experiment with different styles and themes. If you are eager to try more backdrops, head over to my Etsy shop, VG Gallery of Art, and explore my collection. Don't forget to share creations with me. I love seeing your amazing work. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more photography tips and tutorials. You can also follow me on Instagram for updates and inspiration. Thank you for watching and happy editing!